This is the first version of my LED kind of pattern light controller thing. This is designed to fit onto something like a wheelchair frame or a bicycle frame and it should add a, visibility, a bit of visibility in kind of dark conditions like on the side of a road or something and it also has some quite pretty effects which might kind of make your bicycle or wheelchair look a bit nicer. So if I press this button here I can cycle through the different modes and this potentiometer knob here is just a dial for brightness. Um, so I'll, press, I'll just close the curtains to make it show better on camera. If I press the button, we've got a white strobe light. So that's obviously quite good for visibility in the dark, perhaps. We've got the brightness control here, so we can turn it right up. This is a lot brighter in real life than it looks on camera. And you can turn it right down, or anything in between. If I press the button again. Press the button again. We've got a red strobe which is just the same thing in red. Press the button again, we've got the kind of side to side animated red lights effect. Now I could change colour on this one to anything you like. Press the button again, we've got a similar effect only a bit different. Again you can still turn all of these up and down depending on the kind of lighting conditions. Now in the dark this is more than bright enough that you'd blind people if you didn't turn it down quite a lot. But at the moment it's daytime and on camera it doesn't show up that well. Press it again, I've got a kind of random LED effect. Press it again, you've got the coloured LEDs in the same effect. Press it again, you've got a kind of purple flickery effect. I could change the colour on this to something else. And then we've got the white twinkly effect. Just turn it up a bit. Oh no, it's at maximum already. Press it again, we've got the kind of Colour cycling chase effect. That's quite nice. Then we've got a green and purple colour wipe. I could change those colours again. That's one of my favourite effects. This is the rainbow effect. It just cycles through all the colours. Let's see how that's showing up. press it again, you've got the same effect slowed down which is a bit more subtle. Now this does look a lot better by eye than it does on camera just because of the frame rate and the refresh rate and all of that stuff. Press it again, I've got this kind of cinema chase effect that's slowly going through the different colours. Press it again, I've got a kind of animated fire effect. And bouncing ball effect. Multiple bouncing balls. And a kind of white fill effect or swipe effect. Then we've just got a white light which is just on. That might be useful, I suppose, if you wanted some light in a dark room and then it cycles back to the beginning back to the white strobe so that's pretty much it at the moment I've got the thing running from a little battery but uh, this could be powered directly from a wheelchair battery I'll have to look into that or it could be some kind of battery bank that's about that size or slightly bigger. Just a few things I should probably add to my previous video. Um, everything that you see here is just going to be hidden away inside a 3D printed plastic box that will hopefully clamp somewhere onto the wheelchair or bicycle frame so that it's easily removable. Uh, so that should be at least water resistant by the time I'm done with that. Now this button and this uh, brightness dial. These are both mounted in the side of the box so those will be they won't just be loose on the end of wires or anything silly like that. Uh, this strip of LED tape that I've got here is just for testing. Uh, now when I actually put it on a bicycle frame or a wheelchair for real I'll use much more LED tape than this to get a better effect 
and I'll also be using the water resistant LED tape so that it you know doesn't just short out the first time it rains. Uh, I don't think there's much more to add than that. I just wanted to give you the heads up on what this would look like when it was done. Uh, this is just my prototype for getting the software all working, which is probably the part that will take the longest.